Today, we will be talking about various types of employee benefits. Employee benefits are key to understanding your total compensation from your job. Benefits can increase the value of your salary by 20% or more. Before you accept a job offer or make a job change, carefully compare your benefits and the cost of working that specific job. Some benefits are fully paid by the employer, while others require you to pay all or part of the cost. Either way, employee-sponsored benefits generally are cheaper than trying to get benefits on your own. Some of the benefits that include health insurance, dental insurance, pensions, and so on. Let's start with health insurance. This employer subsidized plans uh, where your employer pays at least some of your premium every month. In certain cases, you will still have to pay part of the premium along with co-pays and deductibles, but most of the premium, at least 50% to be exact, will be covered by employer's contributions. Dental insurance often works in the same way as health insurance, with your employer picking up part of your premium. You will be responsible for co-pays and deductibles. Employer-sponsored dental plans usually don't have a waiting period and have better coverage compared to an individual dental plan. So if your employer offers such a benefit, make sure to sign up. Pensions. This is a very valuable employer benefit and I will cover various types of pension plans in detail later in this video. As a rule, pensions are retirement plan option where you contribute a certain amount of your income from every paycheck. After you have contributed long enough to be vested, meaning that you've worked at your employer long enough to earn the right to employer-provided contributions to your retirement saving plan, and depending on your salary and years of service, you will be paid a certain amount each month in retirement. The pension plans are quite complex, so make sure to research what exactly you are offered. A 401k and 403b plans are tax-deferred plans generally offered through an employer. They allow you to invest with pre-tax dollars, meaning your paycheck gets taxed after your contributions to these plans. This leaves you with more take-home pay than if you invested in a Roth individual account IRA, where all contributions are made after taxes have been taken out. Keep in mind that you can start withdrawing money from your 401k or 403 plan typically after you, um, your age of 59 and a half and you will pay taxes on those withdrawals or distributions. Many employers will match your contributions up to a certain amount, so basically giving you free money towards retirement. I would like to outline that it's very, it is very important to know the difference between pre-tax and after-tax benefits. Any deduction from your gross pay is considered the pre-tax deduction. These deductions ultimately give you a higher take-home pay, net. Employer-sponsored pre-tax benefits are called cafeteria plans or IRS Section 125 plans. Some of the examples include, this is not a, in a complete list, but some of the examples are accident and health, medical, dental, and vision benefits, adoption assistance, uh, dependent care assistance, group term life insurance, health savings accounts, flexible spending accounts, or FSA, qualified 401k, and individual retirement accounts, IRAs. After-tax benefits will not lower your tax liability. They are deducted after taxes have been withheld. After-tax benefits include health insurance that does not qualify as pre-tax. Uh, Roth 401k and Roth IRA investments are also included in this list. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I would like to outline and talk about employer-sponsored retirement plans in more detail. And let's start with the 401k plan. A traditional 401k lets you contribute pre-tax funds that are invested by your employer in an investment portfolio of stocks, bonds, and or mutual funds. Your contributions and earnings on 401k contribution are not taxed when you put them into the 401k, but you do pay taxes when these funds are withdrawn. The Roth 401k plans are funded with after-tax dollars money that has already been taxed. Therefore, you won't have to pay taxes when you make withdrawals or when you take distributions if your withdrawals are made after the age of 59 and a half from accounts that have been open at least five years. 403b plans, similar to 401k plans, 
These plans are an option for public school employees, some clergy, and certain non-profit employees. This plan allows a tax deferment on the amount you contribute to the plan. The Employee Stock Ownership Plan, or ESOP, this, your employer contributes stock to the plan for your benefit, usually at no cost to you. Taxes are paid when you, your allocated shares are sold. These types of arrangements have very attractive tax benefits. However, there are limits and drawbacks. So be careful and learn the rules before you do anything with your employee stock ownership plans. As we already discussed, the pension plan is an attractive employee benefits where your company contributes to the plan on your behalf. When you retire, you receive the payment in regular payments in or in a lump sum according to a formula based on income and years of service. These payments are taxable and are treated as income when you start collecting them after you've reached retirement age, right? So another type of benefits is the Thrift Savings Plan, TSP, and 457 plans. The TSP covers federal government workers and service members and 457 plans cover state and local government workers. Contributions by you and your agency, if applicable, are pre-tax. If your plan offers a Roth IRA option, your contributions would be after tax. I would like to outline that some employers match a portion of your contribution to a 401k, as I earlier uh, mentioned, or for 403b to or similar investment um, up to a certain level. Try to contribute up to the maximum that the employer will match because this essentially is free money. For example, if your employer will match up to 6%, then you should plan to contribute at least 6% to get the full benefit of the matching contribution. Retirement plan offerings vary widely depending on the employer. Ask your employer human resources department to answer any questions you have about how the retirement plan works. Additionally, many benefits packages include other perks that can save you time and money. Um, some of them are transportation passes, monthly bus or rail passes paid by your employer or sold to you at a discount which reduces the cost of your commute, flexible scheduling, the opportunity to work from home or telecommute cuts down on transportation costs, flex time is the option to begin your workday earlier or later than the standard and it can help you balance work and personal commitments. Gym, gym membership, a group discount or an employer-sponsored membership can save you money and if the office has a workout facility, you'll save time going to and from the gym as well. Tuition reimbursement. Uh, to keep you uh, to keep qualify quality employees up to date on relevant skills some companies will pay tuition for approved educational expenses another one is training or professional development employers can help you develop professional skills and many pay for you to attend classes workshops or conferences in skill areas that enhance or improve your work Food, this is a huge one. Whether it's a dinner out on the company's dime or a weekly lunch for the office, getting a free meal is a cost savings and a nice perk to have at work. Casual dress code is a benefit many of us take for granted nowadays. This is a great benefit that allows you to wear jeans and, for example, casual shirts either on specific days at work or as the usual dress code. This perk could save you from having to upgrade your wardrobe and can add a little comfort to your workday. Dog-friendly offices. In some companies, well-trained dogs can accompany their owners to work, cutting out the cost of dog walker or doggy daycare. Company discounts are another benefit offered by many companies. Discounts on company products or partner pro programs can save you money on a variety of items, from clothes to food, depending on your industry. Child care center. A worksite child care center can provide convenience and peace of mind that your children will be well cared for. Well, there are many other great perks and employee benefits that the employers are offering in order to attract and retain superstar employees.
If I missed something, feel free to comment under the video. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it, you...